Hello parents and super intelligent students. We will learn about fast addition and subtraction. Although this time we have made smaller videos in different lessons, unlike the last time where we made a long 36 minute video on international number system for very very large numbers. So today our first lesson would concentrate on understanding number patterns and the second one would be how to train our human brain algorithm. And the third lesson would be on fast addition and subtraction techniques. Before delving into the world of fast addition and subtraction, I would like to discuss about the patterns, not only the number pattern. Sometimes we mistake math as a subject which deals with numbers only. But actually, math for me is a sixth sense. Math for me is a language of science. Math for me is a study which helps us to decode all the patterns around us not only related to study but everything whatever you see have you seen the pattern in the ocean waves how smoothly it flows have you seen the pattern in the lightning the way it falls on the ground have you seen the pattern of the flowers petals how uniform it looks have you seen the patterns in the space photos where they show a lot of stars and the gas hydrogen have you seen all the beautiful patterns around us be it art be it engineering be it anything have you seen all these patterns? Even there is a pattern the way a small child learn. There is a pattern behind everything. Without math, without math as a language of science, you cannot understand the patterns behind physics. You cannot understand the gravity. You cannot understand the space science. You cannot understand the speed. You cannot understand the sound or the music or the videos because Without pattern, there is nothing. The way we talk on mobile with each other, there is a pattern. Without those patterns, our voice will not reach to our friends. So today, we will start with the basic pattern, the number one pattern, and that is the pattern of numbers, which will help us to master fast addition and subtraction and become pro in this game. Today, we are going to discuss our first lesson on fast addition and subtraction, that is patterns. And unlike most of the YouTube videos on fast calculation, I'm not going to discuss how to do the fast addition or subtraction because I believe the process is more important than the technique. You know why? Because once you understand the foundation, once you understand the concept, it is very easy for you to absorb the technique and not only absorb the technique, but also practice the technique. In grade one or even KG one to grade two, you must have seen many of the kids learning about the skip counting. The skip counting, have you thought why they learned about that? It's not a like, you know, a skill or a magic trick that I can do the skip counting. There are kids who can do it fast. There are kids who does it slow. But there is a reason why it is included in the syllabus. And the reason is very simple. They are trying to teach you the addition with the skip counting and subtraction with the reverse skip counting but the question is is it enough i feel it's not enough they should have included more in the scope and what is that of course you have learned skip counting first for example you can see that there are only zero to nine digits and the whole number system if you come to our international number system or indian number system video you would understand is made up of these zero to nine that means 10 digit and then rearranging it with same digits with maybe two digits, three digits, four digits or more. So now first question is, is this the only pattern? Like let's do the skip counting from zero. If you do from zero, the first number after zero would be two. Then two would be four. I'm doing the skip counting by two, four, six, eight, and then 10. That's how you make even numbers. If you want to do skip counting by two from the odd number, it becomes one, three, five, seven. And so on, you can make many patterns like 0, 5, 10, 15, or the table of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, etc, etc. But is it enough? As I told you, there is another pattern. That's the vertical pattern. You know, we have always concentrated on the horizontal pattern. Because we want to tell the kids that, you know, after 0 comes the 1, then 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and after 9 comes the 10, 11. But we never say that if you add 10 in 1, it becomes 11, which is very, very important for fast addition and subtraction. And even the concept of Vedic math is based on this one. I feel amazed by the fact that those ancient sages, thousands of years back, understood the importance of this and they developed the sutras or the formulas to do fast calculation, 
but in our modern education system unfortunately we are ignoring this and i'm not telling that the guys who have made the syllabus or the guys who have written the books they have ignored definitely not because i have gone through the books and they have tried to teach these techniques in different way uh, by you know breaking the numbers by teaching uh, the importance of tens and hundreds and ones and thousands uh, by teaching distributive properties of the numbers but somehow many of the teachers ignore these things which are written in the book because schools are focusing on completing the syllabus now the question is are we going to school for completing the syllabus or are we going for education we are going there for education or learning so we should learn the basic concept of math and math is not having only pattern horizontally it is having the pattern vertically it is having the pattern diagonally it is having pattern in every direction and when you grow up when you go to maybe standard 11 or engineering mathematics you will learn you will learn this is not enough you will start uh, seeing the numbers in different dimensions like you know vector uh, vector uh, numbers and the analysis the angles how the numbers can be distributed into three dimensions but anyway that is the story for another day let us come back here so what i want to say in our third lesson when we really start doing fast addition and subtraction there will be a technique where we will tell you to feel the importance of multiple of tens multiple of hundreds or thousands like it's very very easy to add 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 10 30 it's very very easy same way here i want to show let's say take 2 what is 2 plus 10 it's 12 12 plus 10 is 22 same way 2 plus 20 is 22 and i have seen many kids if i ask him 2 plus 20 maybe they will start thinking but actually there is no need to think the way you say that 0 plus 10 is 10 10 plus 10 is 20 same way you should also know that 2 plus 20 is 22 2 plus 40 is 42 2 plus 80 is 82 2 plus 90 is 92 or let's say 12 plus 80 is 92 so you should understand this pattern also and pattern as i told you it's not only in the horizontal direction it's also in the vertical direction it's also in the diagonal direction for example let's uh, take this number what is 3 plus 11 it's 14 now see 14 plus 11 25 same way 4 plus 11 15 so all these numbers have relation with each other because there are very limited number in this world only 10 digits with the help of those 10 digits you made more numbers just by giving different places and different digits in different places we can assume let's say it's a ground floor and you have 10 flats the number starts from flat number 0 to flat number 9 and what will be about the flat number 0 assume i am staying in a building and my flat is let's say 102 what will be the flat above me mostly 202 if i say what is the flat number three floor above me i am 102 it would be 402 it's very very obvious it's very 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 simple and common sense same way in numbers also if i add 10 in one it becomes 11 if i add 11 it becomes 12 and once you start seeing all the patterns let's say take a a, a, a more complex pattern let's say take here 8 plus 8 is 16 same way 18 plus 8 is 26 same way 28 plus 8 is 36 i have not written here but you can assume here 36 now there is another way like if i come directly from here let's come to 8 plus 18 so you will directly come here 8 plus 28 you will directly come here if it is 36 so you can develop even more patterns into it and once you understand the relation between all these numbers you are very good with the addition and subtraction of 1 to 100 or 0 to 100 and in lesson two we will talk about the human calculation algorithm how basic knowledge of just zero to nine you know all the possible probable addition and subtraction will convert in, convert you into the human calculator this is a lesson one here we are talking about patterns so first let us familiarize ourselves with the pattern and believe me this video is not enough for you to familiarize yourself with the pattern i just want to ignite the knowledge or i can say i ignite uh, the thinking or a mindset that there is a pattern in all these numbers if you want you can put a number chart 1 to 100 in your house and it would be very very useful for young kids who are in grade 1 2 3 4 to understand these patterns because first you understand that it's very easy to add 10s and 20s or 30s then it's very easy to do double digit calculation triple digit and believe me a lot of parents are struggling uh, with their kids to memorize tables uh, till 15 or 20 that's the huge task for them but believe me once you transform your kid into a human calculator 
they don't memorize the table. Human calculators develop the table. Yes, they do it by themselves. They calculate it. If you give them table of 81, 71, anything, you give me the table, I will tell you the table, multiplication table. And believe me, I have not even memorized a table of two or three in my whole life. And most of the human calculators are like this. They never memorize. And you know, the guy who won the field medal recently, and he is, you can say, uh, currently the best mathematician of India, Majur Bhargo. He is telling, in fact, a lot of mathematicians telling, and he was telling this specifically, I heard in his interview, that education system, and when I say education system, it's not only in India, whole, I mean, globally, they are too much focusing on memorization, you know. So they are focusing to enhance your memory, especially in mathematics. But mem when you are trying to memorize something, it's an enemy of mathematics. Because what is mathematics? Mathematics is a language of science and here you are trying to explore different ways to understand science, physical, uh, you know, laws and different patterns. But if you let them memorize everything, how would they find something new? Or how would they do things in their own way, with their own technique? Because you are forcing them to memorize everything. And then finally what you are doing? You are destroying their foundation, destroying their basics. And making sure that when they grow up, they grow in 9th, 10th standard, 11, 12, they would not understand the complex mathematics where there is no chance or no probability of memorizing so much because it is going to be very, very vast to understand the universe. How can you memorize the whole mathematics? It's not possible. You can memorize table till 15. Can you memorize table till 9999? You can't do that. Better teach them how to do it. And that's what we are going to do it. We started with the patterns. So I hope you understand the patterns. Let's see something more. Patterns are everywhere. 81 plus let's say 30, 94. Same thing is 21 plus 30. Suppose if there is a number here, it would be 34. 11 plus 13, it is 24. 1 plus 13, it is 14. So if you know it, 1 plus 13 is 14, you also know that 11 plus 13 is 24. You also know that 21 plus 13 is 34 or 31 plus 13 is 44. If you know that 5 plus uh, 12 is 17, you also know 15 plus 12 is 27. You also know that 15 plus 22 is 37 because here the patterns are in two digits only. Once you get into three digits, the pattern will be in three digits. And slowly, slowly for kids, they start with single digit. Then they will come to double digit, then three digit and four digit. And believe me, it's very, very easy to do calculation till six, seven digits mentally without using paper and pen. Why I'm telling you paper and pen? Some parents or some students may be thinking I'm a mad man. Why? Because in your school, they are teaching you everything with paper and pen. But tell me in real life, how many times you're carrying the pen or paper to the street in the car? Are you going to do all the calculation with paper and pen when you're going to a mart to buy the vegetables? Are you adding up all the bills? You are either seeing in the computer or you're doing it in your brain. You're not going to write everything down and do the calculation there. In real life, we don't use paper and pen until unless we are sitting down somewhere and trying to really find something very huge or maybe, you know, trying to record something. So paper and pen is more for recording something where you need a very, very, you know, so vast analysis where you want to refer something which you wrote last day and next day you want to refer same thing. Paper and pen is useful. But real day to day life instantaneous uh, problems, we don't use paper and pen. And once you stop using paper and pen for simple calculation or using stop using calculator for these simple calculation, you would understand that would enhance your intelligence to ultimate level. And please pardon me, my American friends, if you're listening to that, I hope you're not listening to it. But I have seen many of the Americans and even Europeans. If I ask them what is 43 plus 44, they would take out the calculator and do 42 plus 43. And I'm feeling very, very bad about it. I mean, for 42 plus 43, you need a calculator. And then I understand why Indians or Chinese are doing so well in USA in mathematics. Much better than Americans. Because whether you complain about our education system or don't complain, our calculation is much better than Western world. And of course, there is a reason behind that. And you all know. But the thing is, once you make them like, you know, Indians or I, I'm not talking only about India, the whole subcontinent here, uh, most of the Asians, in fact, because I would include China, include Chinese as well as South Korean or Japanese. They are very good in calculation. So it's not only genetics, it's cultural issue. You know how you, the teachers are teaching to students. If my teacher can do it easily, he will teach me also. I will do it easily. I will teach my kid or my students and they will also do it. 
So this is the thing which makes Asian much better in mathematics compared to Western world. The calculation because your sharpness, you know, enhances from here. But the one thing which is very good in Western world, uh, the focus on, uh, you know, memorizing everything is little lesser than us. So the intelligent or the genius guys in Western world, they, uh, you know, innovate much more than what they innovate in Asia. For example, an Indian or Chinese going into USA, they will definitely invent something or innovate something. The reason is they have the intelligence of an Asian, but the innovation index of an American or a Western world because they are promoting that. And my focus or mass Jadugar focus is on that. You start with fast calculation, make yourself a great human calculator, then enhances your sharpness. You can think much beyond the normal people, but then use this knowledge in science. It's not only about math. Finally, you have to use this math in science, but first you understand these patterns. You will understand the patterns in flower. You will understand the patterns in DNA of a human. You will understand the patterns in the planets, the way Newton understood or the Einstein understood. But it starts from here, unfortunately. I know some of you would say 6 plus 10, 16, so boring. I agree with that. But the great knowledge starts with very boring thing because if you understand, no need to see this video. No need to learn anything. But if you don't understand, please try to make this number chart and see the patterns and try to understand directly. If you want to add 6 plus 80, it becomes 86. It's very, very simple for an adult. But it's not so simple for a young kid in grade 3 or 2. So here, the reason why I wanted to show you pattern that there are only 10 digits. Then after that, you are just making more numbers out of these 10 digits by rearranging them. And when you are repeating something, definitely there are going to be patterns emerging from there. And first you understand this pattern. If you don't understand the pattern, write down the comment and I'm sure if you just see this number, it's very, very easy. Even grade one, grade two students can see a lot of patterns. But only thing is focus for some time, print out a number chart, put out in your wall and try to find patterns and try to see that you can directly add 5 plus 80 is 85, 5 plus 81 is 86. So once you start doing such big calculations, soon you will be in three digits. So this one was lesson one on patterns will soon come to lesson two, which is human calculation algorithm. And once you do fast addition and subtraction, that will become foundation to fast multiplication and division. And that will become foundation for whole math till grade eight. Believe me, it's too simple. Math is the simplest subject in the world. If you understand it properly, if you teach it properly, that was it from my side and please share and like and subscribe this video, share with your friends and soon I'll bring more videos in English because I've been doing some videos in Hindi already. We have done a lot of videos on squares and soon you will bring the videos in cubes, square root and factors, multiples, decimal, fraction, all the subject of math. But uh, we were a little slow in English version. We'll uh, come out soon with more English version videos. And for today, thank you very much. Soon I'll be back with next video.